So we are about to start this middle third surgery, face surgery for this patient who has, as you can see, protruded upper jaw and the nasal base. We call it nasal maxillary hypoplasia. So I'm going to be augmenting that part of the face. She already had a rhinoplasty done in this way uh, over a year ago. We're not going to be doing a nose job now because I'm going to be looking at the uh, base or the foundation of the nose and the upper jaw. I'm going to be working on the cheek, uh, the piriform rim or the base of the nose and the upper jaw along with the soft tissue of the lip and the nail and base. So there we go, we've just completed surgery for this binder syndrome patient with nasomaxillary hypoplasia. Very severe case, very severe deformity. It's also a redo case because she'd already done the procedure elsewhere. So we've done grafting from the iliac crest. I've got the onlay, we've got procedures done on the cheek. This is how she's looking right now. We're going to show you how she looked before we started. And you can see that absolutely flat profile. The issue is not with the upper jaw, but you can check the angulation of the lip. The nose is plunged into the upper jaw and we've kind of resurrected it, but it still needs a rhinoplasty in the future. All right, now we're going to show you the front view. So the front view. So you can see. Uh, the lips and the nose position, the shape of the lip. We've corrected all of that. Let me show you another view as well. So, probably, yeah, you can see this. So, her angle is very steep, angle of the lip from the nose, and also there was hollowness. Okay. And because of the pony work that we've done, she still got swelling especially around the lips and the nose which is going to settle down in a couple of weeks time.